Good afternoon, students. So welcome back to Mr. Chan's math channel. And uh, today, I just want to talk about the continuations of 7.3, product to sum and sum to product identities. So here are the identities that you guys need to recognize. So product to sum, so we do have four of those. So sine of x, cosine of y, sine of x, sine of y, cosine x, cosine y, or cosine x, sine y. And then the factoring property, so it's a sum to product, so that's another name for it, factoring. So sine of x plus sine of y, sine of x minus sine of y, cosine of x plus cosine of y, or cosine of x minus cosine of y. Okay, so now we'll check things out with the lesson template. So the first one, so write sine of ax plus sine of 2x as the product. Okay, so let me take this out and then put it on the active inspire. So this one obviously is using the sum to product identity. Okay, so according to the formula, what we have right here, so sine of x plus sine of y, so we're using the first formula under the factoring. So this one is considered sine of x plus sine of y, so 2 sine of x plus y over 2, cosine of x minus y over 2. Okay, so let's just rewrite it. So basically what we found here, so this one is written as 2 sine of ax plus 2x over 2, and then times cosine of ax, okay, according to the formula, ax minus y, so ax minus 2x over 2. And then you want to simplify this, so 2 times sine of 10x over 2, so which is 5x, and then this one here, so cosine of 4x over 2, which is considered 2x. So just keep it that way, so just write it as a product, so according to the instruction. And now let's see what else. So find the product of cosine of 105, sine of 15. So this one is like cosine x times sine y. So according to the product to sum formula, cosine of x, sine y, it's considered 1 half times the quantity of sine of x plus y minus sine of x minus y. Okay, so this one, so it's, okay, going back to that problem there. So we have to go back and forth. So this one is 1 half, so sine of x plus y, so 105 plus 15. minus sine of x minus y. Okay, so minus sine of x minus y, so 105 minus 15. So that one is written as 1 half, so sine of 120 minus sine of 90. So sine of 90, that's 1. Sine of 120, it's just like sine of 60 degree in quadrant 2, so which is root 3 over 2. And then the rest of that, you just want to simplify it a little bit more. So it's just algebra step. And then for 18, so that one is just verifying. So verify that the left-hand side, so you want to use that to sum to product identity. So sum to product identity. So once you condense it, eventually, you're going to end up with 2 cosine of x times sine of 3x plus cosine of 2x. Okay, so 18, that's something you guys can apply the identity for. And let's see, what about for number 19, verifying? So again, that one is also about the product to sum. Okay, so we'll do 19a. So 19a, let's put it right here. So 
So obviously this one you want to verify the left hand side. So sine times another sine. So according to the product to sum formula. So product to sum. So sine of x sine of y. So it's one half times cosine of x minus y minus cosine of x plus y. Okay, so going back. So one half. Quantity cosine of 2x plus 5 pi over 6 minus 2x minus 5 pi over 6. Okay, and then minus cosine of x minus y minus cosine of 2x plus 5 pi over 6 minus 2x minus 5 pi over 6. So a lot of minuses, so got to be very careful. So putting in the parentheses, the bracket, all that. So 2x, 2x obviously got canceled. So 5 pi over 6 plus 5 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6. Cosine of 10 pi over 6. And then over here, minus cosine of, again, 2x minus 2x got canceled. So 5 pi over 6, so 10 pi over 6. And one of the interesting facts showing here, so it looks like this one, everything got canceled. But let me check one thing real quick. So minus, if everything got canceled, then that means it's gonna be zero. So it looks like something wrong here. So sine of, this one is like sine of the quantity times sine of the quantity. Okay, so let's go back to the formula. So sine of the quantity times sine of the quantity. Oh, x plus y, that's why. So the other part right here, so this one is sine of, sine of the quantity, cosine of the quantity plus cosine of x plus y. So this one's supposed to be five pi over six, and then negative five pi over six got canceled, so we got two x and two x. So which is 4x. So got to be very careful with the plus minus because this one can cost the whole thing. Okay? So 2x, 2x. So then that'll be 4x. And what we can do here, so this one just simplified it. So 1 half cosine of 10 pi over 6 is 5 pi over 6, which is pi over 6, 30 degree in quadrant 2. So negative one half minus cosine of four x. So cosine of four x. Okay, so that's what we got here already. Give it that way. So negative one half. So we can call that negative one half. So take out negative one half. So take out negative one half. So we got one fourth. And also this one, so that turns out to be negative 1 minus 1 half cosine of 4x. And then you want to swap the terms inside the parentheses. Okay, so once you swap those terms, Okay, so one thing that is missing here, the negative, so this one's supposed to be, okay, let's double check that formula, so it's getting close to the solution here. Okay, so we got cosine of x minus y minus cosine of x plus y, that's right. Oh, this one is 5 pi over 3. So 5 pi over 3, so the ratio, it's uh, in the third quadrant. So this one's supposed to be positive. Yeah, so it's supposed to be positive. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to swap the terms. Because once you reduce it, so it's 5 pi over 3. So cosine of 5 pi over 3, so that's 1 half. But wait a minute, it's still considered negative. 
ratio, so 10 power 6, 5 power 3. Somehow the negative it's missing here, positive, positive, 10 power over 6, 5 power over 3. Okay, so one thing it's missing here looks like, okay, so we took out one half, okay. Oh, you know what, this part right here. So we got 1, 4, 1 minus 2 times cosine of 1. So if you take out 1 half, okay, so once we take out 1 half, so this one, we actually have to multiply by 2. Because originally, this one, there's a 1 half outside the parentheses. Okay, so eventually it's going to be what? Ditto. Okay, so this one, it's a little bit complicated. So got to be careful of the sign change once again. Okay, so now let's see what else that we have for the rest of this. Okay, going back to the template. Okay, so the other one, so the other one solving equation. So this one, you want to condense it. So sine and sine. Again, using the similar identity, and then set equal to one fifth, and then solve for x. So the next one I would like to talk about number twenty. So number twenty, cosine of x, cosine of three x, cosine of five x. You guys see that the odd argument, one x, three x, five x, seven x. So the patterns two n minus one x. So it's written as sine of two n x over two sine x. Another thing that we notice, sine of x minus sine of 3x plus sine of 5x alternating with the odd angle. So it's considered sine of 6x over 2 cosine of x. Now you want to simplify the following. Okay, so let's put it out. Okay, for number 20. Okay, so according to the pattern here, so the top part, so what we got sine of x minus sine of 3x plus sine of 5x. So we do have 1, 2, 3, 3 terms, so which is the same as this one here. So for a, so the numerator, the top portion, can be written as sine of 6x over 2 cosine of x. And then the denominator is just the pattern of cosine of x, cosine of 3x plus cosine of 5x, 3 consecutive terms. So that means and will be three, because one, two, three, three, the first three terms. So it's considered sine of two times three, x, again, and is three, three terms, and all over two sine x. And then to the power of two. So what we found, it's sine of six x over two cosine of x. This one here, we write it. Divided, that means you multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 sine x, and then sine of 6x. Cross cancel, 2 and 2 cancel, and sine of x over cosine of x, quantity square, so that would be tangent square of x. So what is the value of cosine of 15, cosine of 45, cosine of 75, cosine of 105, cosine of 135, cosine of 165? So this one is basically just the pattern of this one. So it's like cosine of 15, cosine of 45, cosine of 75, so on and so forth. So x is what, 15? So using that pattern, so we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. So this one is written as sine of 2 times n, so n is what, 6? x which is what 15 and then all over 2 sine of 15 okay so find the exact value so basically this one is like sine of 2 times 
can break it apart into the even angle. Okay, let's see right here. So we got two uh, sine of two times six times fifteen, which is what eighty. And then two sine of fifteen. So this one can be done by using sine of 160. over 2 sine of 15. Now what happens if I try to use that the uh, double angles identity? So let's put it this way. If you try to put it sine of 160 and then over 2 sine of 15, so then that's kind of a little bit hectic to evaluate. So if I put in sine of 12, times 15 degrees over this one is 2 sine of 15 so let's say that this one we try to use the double angle would that work okay let's see because so far we try to condense it into that sine of 2 times 6, because that involved with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 terms, and then x, which is 15 degree, over 2 sine of 15. So one thing that we noticed, so sine of 2x, so that's 2 sine x, cosine x. But now this one right here, so that would be 12. Okay, so what can we do with that 12? So this one is one of the interesting problems to think about. So try to use the ratios identity, so sine. Okay, so that won't work. Well, the denominator, we can use the half angle identity. Okay, so this one is one of the interesting problems. So probably want to think about. So I try to multiply it out. So 12 times 15, so we just got it. It's 160. But that one is a non-special angle. Over 2 sine of 15. So the reference angle for this one would be 20, so sine of 20. And this one is 15. Okay, it should be way to figure out that the double angle, so you can expand it. Okay, so think about that one. Okay, so now let's see what else that we have for the rest of this. Okay, so going back to the template. And the rest of this is just like verifying the identity. So find a value, again, using the sum to product, sum to product, top and the bottom, sum to product, sum to product. So another one that I just want to show you here, then that'll be number 22. So number 22 and number 24. Okay, so number 22. So this one tried to expand it, so this one can actually factor it. So by the time you factor it, so that turns out to be sine square of 5 pi over 8 minus cosine square of 5 pi over 8. And then right here, sine square of 5 power over 8 plus cosine square of 5 power over 8. So basically this one is 1 because that's a Pythagorean identity. 
And what about this one here? You try to swap those terms. So we try to swap the term, we do have a double angle identity. So negative cosine square of five power over eight minus uh, plus sine of five power over eight, square of five power over eight. And then plug the negative. Then we do switch the sign here. So it's gonna be negative cosine of two times five power over eight double angle. So it's negative cosine of five power over four. So cosine of five power over four, it's a negative root two over two. So positive root two over two. Okay, 22. Okay, so now let's see, what about, so this one is finding the general solution. That means finding all the solution, solving. So verifying the identity, so 24. Okay, so check it out, 24. So cosine of 3x equals 2 cosine x, cosine of 2x, minus cosine of x, okay? So by using the left-hand side, so verifying the identity by using the left side. Okay, so cosine of 3x. So I started off with cosine of x plus 2x. So then that would be considered cosine of x, cosine of 2x, minus sine of x and then sine of 2x. So using that uh, sum of cosine. And then according to the right hand side, everything is written within that the uh, cosine of 2x and cosine of x. Okay, so we don't change anything here because that's quite similar to this one. So what I can do, so I can convert that sine of 2x into double angle. Okay, so this one rewrite it so cosine x cosine of 2x minus sine x so sine of 2x can be written as sine of 2 sine x cosine of x and you may notice that sine of x times sine of x so that's considered sine square of x so perhaps using the Pythagorean identity Okay, so using the Pythagorean identity, so what I can find here, so it's 2 times 1 minus cosine square of x times cosine of x. Okay, so it's getting close to the form right here. And then the rest of this, you want to multiply things out. So cosine 2 cosine of x. And then the other one would be considered 2 cosine cube of x. Okay, so this one's getting a little bit interesting. So we try to use that the sum of cosine instead of using... Okay, so the sum of cosine, instead of using that product to sum, or sum to product. Okay, so again, the this part right here is similar to the one that we have. 2 cosine of x, cosine of 2x. Okay, but we need two of those. So this one we try to distribute, so we do have negative 2 cosine of x plus 2 cosine square of x. Okay, so... 
is getting close. For the things that this one is going to be canceled, so it's going to be like 2 cosine of x cosine of 2x compared to the right hand side minus cosine of x. And this one is completely canceled. Okay, so let's see what else that we can do. So basically what I did here, so I just rewrite everything in terms of cosine of x. But nothing that we can combine at this moment. Okay. So here's another difficulty. So the way to simplify it. So eventually you're going to end up with the exact same term. So perhaps the cosine of 2x So that's something we need to simplify it a little bit further. Okay, so we got sine of x just double checking all this sine of 2x, 2 sine x, cosine of x. Okay, so gotta be careful. This one is 2 cosine of x plus 2 cosine cube of x. So that shows some kind of uh, factoring. Okay, so now from here, cosine of 2x, we can rewrite it as 2 cosine square of x minus 1. So again, the purpose of doing that, we just want to simplify it a little bit more. Okay, so minus 2 cosine of x plus 2 cosine cube of x. Yeah, but that just makes even worse. Okay, so nothing that you can apply. You can expand it out, combine the like term, but you end up with 4 cosine cube of x. So again, the pattern here, we're getting quite uh, close, okay? So this one. So we'll go back to it, okay? So this one is one of the difficult ones. So using that pattern to figure out the exact value. So this one, 2 cosine. So that's just like what we got here. So this one, 2 times pi over 12, pi over 6, minus cosine of x. So this one is just the same thing as cosine of 3 times power over 12. It's a triple angle. So the triple angle formula. So what we got, it's like cosine of pi over 4, which is root 2 over 2. Well, part B, it's easy using the pattern. But a way to prove it, so this one is kind of difficult, again, by using the left-hand side. So instead of expanding it, so we want to simplify the right-hand side. Okay, let's try the right-hand side this time. Because the left-hand side, we try to expand it, so that's kind of weird. So for the right-hand side, so we got 2 cosine of x, cosine of 2x, minus cosine of x. Okay, so what happens if I take out cosine of x? So we do have 2 cosines of 2x minus 1. Okay. So I took out the greatest common factor. And then for the rest of this, 
So we write that cosine of 2x as the double angle. So it's going to be 2 times cosine square of x minus 1 and then minus 1. And then this one is cosine of x. So 4 cosine square of x minus 2 and then minus 1. Okay, so what we found here, so distribute everything. So this one combined like term, minus 3. So it's like 4 cosine cube of x minus 3 cosine of x. Yeah, then that'd be kind of weird. So that's why we try to use the left-hand side to verify. Again, part B is quite straightforward, just using the pattern. But for part A, okay, so going back, So the right-hand side, we try to use the right-hand side, try to challenge that, condense it, but it won't work. Okay, so using the left-hand side. So let's try another approach. So x plus 2x. So cosine x, cosine 2x, minus sine x, sine of 2x. So similar to the one that we did earlier. Okay, wait a minute. So instead of using that uh, double angle identity, so let's apply the product to sum, cosine and cosine. Okay, let's find out that the identity, the product, cosine and cosine this time. So it's one half cosine of x plus y plus cosine of x minus y. So it's one half cosine of x plus two x, which is three x. Okay, so using that the identity, the product to sum, and then plus cosine of x minus y. Cosine of x minus y, so x minus two x, which is negative x. Okay, product to sum. And then over here, similar, so product to sum. So sine, sine, so that's cosine of x minus y minus cosine of x plus y. Wow. So minus one half cosine of x minus 2x, negative x. Back to the identity, minus cosine of x plus y. So x plus y, so it's 3, x plus y, so then that'd be what? x plus 2x, 3x. Okay, so this time we're getting very close. So instead of using the double angle, we're using the product to sum, product to sum. So one thing that we notice, cosine of negative x is the same as cosine of x, even function identity. So the rest of this you want to distribute. So 1 half cosine of 3x plus 1 half cosine of positive x. Again, even function, so cosine of negative x, same as cosine of x. Minus 1 half cosine of x. So basically those two terms got canceled. And then this one here, negative, negative, positive, 1 half cosine of 3x. Wow. Combine them, so it's cosine of 3x. Okay, so one way doesn't work, then you have to try the other approach. Because the majority of those identity, because they are quite similar, so you've got to be very careful. Okay, so for 24a and b. So product to sum. Okay, so back to the template. Let's see what else that we have. And then the rest of that is just like what we've been doing, inverses using double angle, 
product. Well, this one, there's no need to use product to sum. So this one is sine square of one half of theta. So try to use that, the power reducing formula. And then this one here. So using that tangent, double angles of tangent. Okay. So the rest of those are pretty straightforward. Okay, so that's it. So thank you for watching the video today. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye.